Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to discuss with you guys today something that's been on my mind uh, for about three or four days now. And uh, again, it's not something new. Uh, former Jehovah's Witnesses who joined the XJW community have expressed this uh, same thought before. Uh, so, like I said, this is not my idea. It's not something that I made up. Um, however, it is something that I have considered doing. Now, let me preface this with, when I woke up from Watchtower, I needed support. I needed people to understand what I was going through. And the only group of folks that I could find that did that for me was the XJW community. And so I was in the XJW community and when anyone asked, that's what I would say. I was an XJW. However, I feel like I've grown past that to the point to where I want to just expose Watchtower with everything that I've learned. And that's why I've decided that I'm just going to recognize myself as a former Jehovah's Witness who has become a Watchtower whistleblower. And that is my main goal. I don't need to be in the XJW community for support anymore. Uh, I have made a lot of friends in the community, uh, people that I would consider uh, real brothers, real sisters to me, uh, real friends. I've also had the experience to where I've had some not so nice encounters with folks in the community, but that's okay. So when people mention the XJW community, you know, a lot of people's first thoughts are, yes, this is a wonderful community. It helps a lot of people, which it does, but it also has some negative connotations to it. We've heard of drama. We've heard of backbiting. We've heard of people retaliating against each other to get channels shut down. That exists. So for me, I don't want to be recognized like that anymore. My main purpose and what I do on the Watchtower side and on the political side of things is I just want to get to the truth. And it takes some digging. It takes a lot of research. It takes keeping an open mind to the different things that you find when you're researching. And I'll just tell you, some of the things that I have found over the past three plus years has been shocking to me. Things that I never thought would happen or take place. So if you have that mindset where things just sound crazy to you, um, that's, that's okay. I would just say, keep digging, trust your intuition, and um, you'll be surprised at what you find out, and you'll be surprised at how evil things have been set up around us to control us, to divide us, to manipulate us, to use us. So, like I said, I'm going to be a Watchtower whistleblower. And I'm going to work on some things to where I can pull those folks who are mainly interested in finding out different ways to where we can expose Watchtower in a public forum. That needs to happen. If you think about it, like Selena said, if you know the playbook, you can build a defense. So here's the thing. We already know that Watchtower PID is on a crusade right now going to local radio stations, putting their message out, saying that they are here to help people. Okay, well, how do we counter that? We do the same thing. We go to the public. So that way we counter everything that they say, just like I did on the radio program where I countered that radio or countered that um, PID department guy. So that's the plan. That's the plan moving forward. And you may not be ready to make yourself public or 
go to a congressman or go on a radio. You may not be ready to do that. You may need to still be in the support system and that's fine. But for me and a quite, and, and quite a few others, we're ready to take it to the next level. And that's what we're going to do. So sending you guys much love, appreciation for the views on the channel so far over the last couple of days. And, uh, we got more to come. Matter of fact, uh, Thursday night, we're doing an interview with Oli Damgard. I think it's his last name. How you say it? I'm totally butchering it, but, uh, that's going to be an awesome video and it's going to go to a whole different audience. It's going to go to the public. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.